And um, so far, what has your experience been like at UKSSN? Um, what do you feel like you've gotten out of it? Um, honestly, it's been quite a rewarding experience. I didn't know much about kind of eco initiatives at all. Um, and both myself and Bella were quite scared when we came into it because we thought everyone would know a lot of facts, a lot of kind of articles, would know a lot about the environment. But it was more kind of a learning process. And um, it was, we started getting a lot more opportunities within our school. Um, and it meant that a lot more pe- like students within our school felt more connected. Um, we could actually see that we were having an impact on the environment, not just something that was going on in, you know, on the wider scale, but rather on our school grounds or um, within our school community. So I think for that reason, it was both fulfilling and rewarding. Um, A little bit stressful at times because you get lots of information thrown at you and then you have to cater to what your school can do. But at the same time, it was something that was very different to what I'd done before. So overall, a very, a very positive experience. Yeah. That's really nice to hear. Um how it's trickled down back to your school community. What about you, Kim? Yeah, I think similarly, like, the scope of opportunity in itself, it's kind of like, there's so much out there, you've kind of got to be like, okay, wait, I have to filter it down now, and kind of like, okay, who can I, like, refer this opportunity to? Or And, like, it's kind of like, okay, pick and choose. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think that, like, opportunity in itself has been amazing and like the learning experience learning about the environment in itself has been a lot and like the processes in like government how that happens in like charities and schools I think a lot of it has also been like learning about how schools actually work as well and that's something that you don't really kind of think about before um and then just kind of opportunities and learning in how you work yourself i think it's a lot of like skills that is just something that you need practice from and it's not like you can read a book and suddenly you have good communication skills or good like chairing skills or anything like that so yeah yeah i have to agree on pim's point i think I wasn't very connected to my school, but once you join UKSSN, you end up talking to a lot of teachers um, and teachers that you don't think you'll be talking to, like canteen staff or even your deputy heads. Like, you don't think you're going to have that connection as a student. But then you start understanding how the school system works and what you have to do to implement changes. So that was quite surprising as well. So, yeah. Yeah, that's actually quite interesting to see how it helps you, like, integrate better with your school and also, like, how I think Ben mentioned some of um, has helped with like com- your communication skills and like transferable skills as well. Um, so you've also mentioned quite a bit about like there's been quite a few opportunities through UKSSN. So what have you both like gotten involved in um, in the last year as part of UKSSN that you really want to like talk about and highlight? Um, yeah, so regionally we've done a couple of like conferences and we've done things with businesses in the area so we've got like this um kind of certificate now for businesses to try and get businesses to um achieve like their sustainability goals and um meeting lots of other students in the area and doing some like short films and things um like nationally we've done um So I've gone to the Department for Education um, Climate Change and Sustainability Strategy Launch, which was very like a very interesting experience to go to. And um, so also now on the UKSSN board as a uh, external youth representative since I'm in year 13. So like alumni soon. But uh, yeah, those are a few a few of the opportunities that I've taken hold of. Yeah, ours has been quite similar as well. I think one of the highlights of the week, which was a very stressful period because we had our A-level mocks at the same time, so it was like, ooh. But um, one of the highlights of the year has to be, um, we did this eco, we did an eco week um, in around October and we got loads of schools in the local kind of region, so in Kingston, to come and participate in it. So we had loads of students, around 200 people in the room, and we had um, talks by experts, we had it in um, environment in the medical field, environment in the mining field, 
Um, we had one by Kit Rackley who discussed the IPCC co uh, Code Red report. Um, and it kind of trickled down to having a lot of um, swap shops, um, litter picks within our area. We did sustainable um, wrapping paper. Um, we had lots of talks with the younger years to see what they would like to do, lots of competitions. Um, and I think through that, it became a lot more kind of integrated as a school community rather than just individual people trying to support the network. So that was definitely one of the highlights. Um, and then we had the Whiteham Woods trip, which was also quite quite a big highlight of the year.